Welcome to Latricia Creates. I am Latricia. In today's video, we're going to decorate the sunglasses case that I made in the last video. If you didn't see it, please check it out so you can learn how to make a sunglasses case as well. But in this video, we're going to decorate the sunglasses case using hot fix rhinestones. Let's take a look at the materials we're going to need for this project. For this project, we need hot fix rhinestones, rhinestone flock, rhinestone transfer tape, a spreading tool, a pickup tool, a measuring tape, our sunglasses case, a green standard grip cricket mat, our brayer tool, the brayer tool is optional. I just like to use mine because my mat is not that sticky. We need a Cricut machine or some other type of cutting machine. I'm going to use my Cricut maker. We need a heating source and we need a design. You ready? Let's make it. The first thing we want to do is measure our sunglasses case to determine what size we want our design to be. I'm thinking five and a half inches long by two and a half inches tall. That's a good size for my design. So the next thing we want to do is either grab a design or create a design. Because it's a rhinestone design and oftentimes rhinestone designs can't be edited to be smaller or larger, I'm just going to create my own design. So I'm going to head over to Silhouette Studio to create the design. Then I'm going to upload it into Cricut Design Space to cut it out. I'm in Silhouette Studio and I'm ready to create my rhinestone design. I uploaded these glasses from Creative Fabrica. Now what I want to do is resize them. I want to make them to be about five and a half inches in width. The next thing I want to do is edit the bridge so they look more like the glasses that I have. Now what I want to do is duplicate it and change the duplicate to a different color. I want to make sure they're aligned together. Now what I want to do is Make sure the colored one is moved to the front and open my rhinestone panel. I want the stones to be SS6 and I want it to be edge. That looks pretty good, but I think it needs a little bit of work. So I'm going to edit the stones, move them around to my liking before I save it. So the next thing I'm going to do is release the rhinestones. Releasing the rhinestones allow each stone to become individual, which will give me an opportunity to move them how I want. I'm gonna blow it up a little more so I can see much better and start moving some of these stones around. Now I'm going to move the black out of the way. See how it looks? It looks pretty good. I'm going to delete the black and I'm going to make a couple more adjustments with some of the stones that look a little too close together or too far apart. That looks good enough. Now I'm ready to group them all together. And save it. I'm going to go over here, save as, save to hard drive. I'm going to save it into onto my desktop as bling glasses. I'm going to save it as an SVG file. Click OK. 
Now I'm ready to go to Cricut Design Space, upload it there, and get ready to cut it out. I'm in Cricut Design Space and I'm ready to upload my design. I'm gonna go up to the top right, click on New Project, go to the bottom left, click on Upload, Upload Image. I'm going to drag my image in, it's on my desktop. Now I'm gonna go to Upload, click on the image, go over to Add to Canvas. As you can see, it came in really tiny, so I'm going to change it to the correct dimensions. 5.686 in width and 1.989 in height. Now I'm going to ungroup it, make sure all my little dots are the correct size. They're good to go. They're at a 0.102. I know some people like to have 0.98 and other people like to have 0.1, but 0.102 works as well. It is a bigger hole, but the stones do fall in there pretty nicely, so I'm okay with that. Now I'm going to weld my design and ready to make it. Click on make it. Click on on mat. I'm using a 12 by 12 inch mat, click continue. I'm going to move this down just a hair. Click continue again. Click browse all materials. I'm going to search for felt. I'm using the felt wool bonded. Click done. Also, if you like, you can create a custom setting for your rhinestones because there are no rhinestone settings in Cricut. But I'm using this one and I'm going to click on more just to make sure I get a really good cut. I already have my fine point blade loaded. Now I'm going to put the material on the mat, load the mat, and get ready to cut. I flock was too short over here, but I'm still going to use this. So now I'm going to get all the dots out and get ready to put the rhinestones on. The design is now ready to add the rhinestones to it. It has a an adhesive backing so you can just stick it on something to make it stable. I usually have a box that came with my rhinestone kit from my scanning cut but I don't have the box today. I'm just going to use this mat. And what I'm going to do is pour out a bunch of rhinestones. See, this is why it's good to have a box to contain the stones so that they're not flying everywhere. And then you want to, you want to lay the stones down in a circular motion and they will usually fall forward. All of the stones are in the design. Now I need to clean up these stones and lay the transfer paper down. This piece of transfer tape is well used. You can recycle your transfer tape and use it more than once. I'm just gonna drop it down and follow through, rub it down. And slowly lift to make sure all of the stones come up. We have all the stones. Now it's time to press it. Let me grab the case and the little heat press. Going to open up the case. I told you in the last video that this black fabric it is just a lint magnet, so it's there's just more lint on here. Oops. Pretty much eyeballing it, 
and this looks good enough to me so I'm gonna go with this these particular rhinestones has the directions on it for how to heat them and it says 350 degrees for 12 seconds and although I'm not using a traditional heat press I'm going to use one of these Cricut easy presses I I hope the rhinestones stay on here I'm going to try to add some pressure oh that is so pretty so pretty these rhinestones are really sparkly it's hard to tell on camera, I know, but in person, these things are really sparkly. They are so beautiful. Here we have it. Here is a closer look at our final project. I think it came out pretty nice. As always, I hope you were able to make one as well. I also hope you got something out of this video. If you did, please give it a thumbs up and subscribe to the channel. Thank you so much for watching. Until next time, keep creating.